You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is J.S. Matthews. Here we are in Elden Ring. Now, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I'm actually back here in Kaled. I started right here at this little smoldering wall, Site of Grace, and made my way across this little chasm here where we went to go to the, CO, the deep CO for a well. And there's a little cave here. Uh, one of my friends told me about this, so we're going to check this cave out. He said there's a pretty good item in here, so I think we're going to check this out. This does not look like much fun, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, I still have my cold, so I think I'm going to be a little quieter in this one. Uh, sorry about that. It's just not going away, and I kind of want to play this game. So, anyways, let's go ahead and head on down here and see what we can do.
right, hey, there we go. Man, I hate this cave. That's what I came here for, the Golden Scarab. Very nice. I did lose 20,000 souls, though. 29,000, I think. That was horribly frustrating and stupid, so... Well, that was my own fault. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll do some grinding probably sometime. Not today, but eventually. But, uh, hey, we got that Golden Scarab, and that's really why I wanted it. I want to be able to grind out some levels, and that Scarab thing is really going to help. Uh, if we look at it, let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, this one. So the Golden Scarab, I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Increases runes obtained from defeated enemies, which is pretty awesome. So we'll eventually equip that. I mean, we might as well just put it on right now. Not the biggest deal. Yeah, looking pretty good. I'll probably put both of those on eventually. That and the uh, riding one. The one that gives me a little more damage when I'm riding. And we'll probably take off this one eventually. Not right this second. But this is also really nice. Negating damage uh, from magic, which is really nice. Uh, okay. Where do we want to go now? Last time we did a little bit of exploring. We were just kind of up here, hanging around. And... Uh, I kind of want to go explore up here again. I'm not really sure what else is up here. I do know that... I think it's the... I did read that the Celia Crystal Tunnel, this one right here, the boss at the bottom of that does give me a plus six somber smithing stone, which would be really nice, but it's also a really hard area. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to head up this way, see what's at this tree, and see what's kind of around in this area. I would like to also get this map. You know, maybe we should do that. Let's go get that map. That sounds good. <clears throat> Man, this cold has been killing me. It's incredibly obnoxious. Gonna take it out on a sheep. Frustration. All right, we're gonna head up this way, grab this map, and just kind of see what we're dealing with up here. I haven't even been over this way yet either. So I also still need to go back and look at that castle that's near Lake Liernia. So maybe we'll head over there this episode too. But I thought that was kind of a fun little detour. Go grab that uh, new thing, a little scarab. I don't know how much it adds, but I've heard it's actually pretty good to help you grind. So let's see. We kill a sheep. I mean, we used to get five. Now we get 13. Well, that's pretty good. Unless, of course, this area is just different. Get out of here, sheepies. All right. Let's go ahead and grab this map real quick. Oh, shoot. These guys are nasty, I think. Jump. Oh. Yeah, these guys, I heard they inflict bleed damage really fast. Yeah, like that. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, those things uh, kill you in like one hit. Interesting. So let's just leave those guys alone. Let's go get this map before we die. <laughs> Here it is. Nice. Let's grab it. Oh, come on. Please stop, Corsi. Wow. The turnings. Why are you turning backwards? Whatever. We got it. Okay. Let's run over here. Let's take a little look around here and see what we're dealing with. Well, look at those mountains. Holy cow. Those definitely look a little more ominous, huh? Whoa, what's over there? Oh my gosh, the Atlas Plateau. Okay. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, look at how big this area is. What? Oh my gosh. Hey, there's another mine right there. Pretty cool. We'll have to go look at that. Holy crap, there's probably going to be another map up this way. Probably like right up over there. Holy cow, this is just crazy big. Let's head up this way. Let's see what's uh, north of here. Oh my gosh, look at how huge this map is. This is crazy. Uh oh, bloodstains. We got killed here. Another big castle up there. Is that just part of the same city? 
Man, look at that down there. Holy cow. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is pretty big. Holy cow. Oh, you guys are bad guys, huh? You know what, dude? We're going... Hey, will you get off your horse? Jeez, dude. Oh, dang, dude. Just got worked. Smithing stone level four? Holy cow. Guy gave me a smithing stone level four. How did I just miss that? That's so frustrating. Wow. Okay, don't even get a swing off. All right, cool. That's right, let's just do this then. Or just this too. It's the one problem I have with the katana. The swing radius is just so small. Dodge, please. Thank you. Oh, that was a poor showing. Well, at least we got our uh, things back. That's fine. Let's see what's further up this way. See if there's a uh, site of grace anywhere around here. Be nice to keep getting these little teleport spots. We've been doing a lot of exploring lately, but there's just been so much to explore. Oh, here's another one of these ladies. Oh, and this side. Let's get that first. <laughs> Ooh, another little uh, teleporter and a merchant. Holy cow! Okay, I was glad. I'm glad I came this way. Have to see where that teleporter takes us, huh? Let's talk to uh, this merchant first. See what he's got. Yeah, my, I, terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? Let's see what we got here. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook for 4,500. I think that's, that's worth it. We do need a lot more of these, but I also kind of want the stone. Let's grab one of these. And then we're going to grab all. All the arrows. All of them. I must <laughs> You're fine. Don't worry, dude. We'll come back once I get some more, some more runes. Please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Oh, bless you. <sighs> to the east, ruins of gold. To the west, the serpents. Sacrilege! <sighs> Wherever the path leads, so shall you follow. Wherever the path leads, only more sorrow. <sighs> Tis a curse, a curse, the curse of Queen Marika. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's up here? Uh oh. I I don't know. I just have a feeling. No? Thought something was going to come out of the bushes and try to get me. <laughs> See what's over this way. Now there was a mine we could look for. That would be pretty good. Some ruins down here. But very clearly I do not want to jump off that. Looks like a couple other people already tried that. <laughs> it looks like we can go down this way maybe. Let's see. Let's drop down here maybe. Kind of want to see where that mirror takes us, but... Seriously, those guys. Okay, please move. Please. No. Don't want to dodge. Alright. These guys annoy the crap out of me. They're fast little strikes. They're faster than my strikes are. It's, it's hard to even get in range to kill them. What do we get there? Golden arrows. Okay. I don't know what those are. Is 
a weird sound. Huh. Well, let's take a look what's down here, huh? I don't see anything targeting. So that's good. What does this say? Be wary of death. Oh, what the heck is that thing right there? What is that? Come on, pull out your... No! Oh, what the heck? There's another one over there. Uh... Pull out my bow here. What is that? Oh! Oh! Oh, what the heck? Ah! Please pull out your sword, please. One more hit. What the heck was that thing? Oh my gosh, that was like, hey, you're playing Dark Souls. Nope, now you're playing Bloodborne. What the heck? Oh my gosh. All right, let's head this way. Towards the third tree. Something else getting on me? Oh, there's something under there. What the heck? Dude, I am not liking this place. There's a lot of weird sounds going around that really sounds like they're right next to me. There's another one of those things. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like this area. What the heck is going on here? Alright, we're going to head up towards this Erd Tree, and I think that's where we're going to end the episode. Maybe next time we'll take on the Erd Tree Guardian. If they have one. I thought there was an earth tree over here. Minor. Oh, it's down that way. Man, this is a weird area. I don't like it. Anyways, next time we'll go ahead and continue exploring here. Hopefully my cold will be gone by then. Be nice to be able to actually talk without sounding like I'm, <laughs> I don't know, underwater or something, plugging my nose. Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for checking my videos. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, maybe even subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, also, if you ever want to support me or my channel, just check out my books on Amazon. Uh, I always put the links in the description. And hey, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you all take care now.